Hi, my name is Evan, and in this video I'd like to go over some features of the Note app that's included with your Boxlight Pro Color display. The Note app is a way to replace a traditional whiteboard, so you don't necessarily have to use the whiteboard on the wall, as well as this large panel that takes up a lot of space, you may not have room for that. So really you can use the Note app to do everything that the whiteboard would do, and some more features that come in very useful. So let's go ahead and open up the Note app here and we'll get started. First you'll see this little toolbar down at the bottom with some different options and then a blank canvas. So you can use your finger or the included stylus that comes with your panel. And you can write on that just as you would with a whiteboard. The processor inside the panel is able to easily keep up with you, so you can write as fast as you want, and that image will show up just as soon as you draw it. Down here at the bottom, you'll see we have the pen tool enabled. If you tap that icon, you'll notice some options here where you can select from a range of colors, different brush styles, and width. You can even select two different widths, so if the stylus you have is double-sided, or you can assign one to your finger, We'll just make this one here a different color, and you can see the difference here. And in addition to changing the ink color, you can also change the background color. So if you prefer to write dark text on a light background, for instance, you can do that as well. Over here in the corner, there's a menu icon. You go in and select background. You'll be able to choose whatever color works best for you. Now, one of my favorite aspects of the Note app here that really goes beyond what a whiteboard is actually capable of is the ability to manipulate what I've written and move it around, resize it, rotate it, etc. So let's give that a try here. So I'm in the pen tool now in order to write. If I select this arrow here, I'll actually be able to select any of the strokes that I've just made with my pen and move those around as I want. So this is a great tool for doing things like understanding how to write equations and the various mathematical properties. You can also imagine this being really useful when learning grammar. You can move the words in a sentence around and reconstruct that any way you'd like. You can also resize any of these in addition to moving them. Once you select them with your pen, you'll see these corners here. You can drag those to make it larger or smaller. You can also use this green one here to rotate. So that can be a really powerful tool to transform what you've written and really draw things out in a clear manner for students. There's also a way to move the entire canvas so you're not bound by the edges of this display. If you need to write more than you can actually fit on here, if you select this hand tool down here, you can actually move the entire canvas. So you have an infinite amount of space to work with. You can also zoom in and out on the whole thing at once, instead of just one particular part that you're resizing. So that's definitely convenient if you have a lot to put on your whiteboard. Now. Once you've written something, you'll probably eventually want to erase it. So I'll walk through three different options for how to do that. The first one down here is the eraser tool. The eraser will erase specific lines or items that you've drawn. So here I would just select the number that I wrote and cross it off. Then it will get rid of that. There's also a shortcut that you can use really quickly without switching to the eraser tool. Instead of using a stylus or your finger, if you just ball up your hand and hold it on there, you will be able to get an eraser that will scrub out whatever you're working on. And then there's one more option. If you've written just so much and that would take too long, you can go down here to this trash can, tap that, and delete the whole thing. Another tool that's available here with the Note app that you wouldn't be able to do with a traditional whiteboard is importing images. So if you have searched on the web for some educational images, maybe a diagram, you can actually get that onto the board here and really quickly mark it up within the Note app. So if I go to the menu here in the corner, select Import, you'll see some separate options here. I can choose an image, for instance, and I can go ahead and open a picture if I have one. So just like the content that you would write with the pen, you can resize and rotate these images 
and of course you can write over them. Another thing you can do is use this tool down here to create shapes. You'll see some two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes that are really handy if you're learning things like geography or calculations of volume and area. And then you'll also have these arrow tools, which are one of my favorites, because it allows you to draw arrows to something on a diagram, for instance, really quickly and easily without worrying about whether your line is straight or how that arrowhead looks. It's just automatically perfect. Another handy feature is that you can save your work on this whiteboard and send it to your students later. So how to do that, you would go down to this menu here and select Save. You'll notice also that you can open or create a new document in the same place. But if you choose Save, you can select a folder to store it in. You can use a cloud storage, or if you have a USB drive plugged into your display, you'll also see that option here. One good folder that you might want to use is the Notes folder. And in there, there's another folder called Mark. Mark is the folder where all of the annotations that you might do with the sidebar tools, things like this pen tool or the clip, uh, clipping tool, those will automatically save to the Mark folder. So if you want to save your notes from Note into the same place, that will keep everything in the same location. Otherwise, you can select a folder of your choice and save to there. So that's an overview of the Note app. And if you need any help with other applications on the Pro Color, please see the other videos in this series.